good morning guys welcome to today's video it is actually raining outside so that's okay when you're on a farm there are always jobs to do on the inside but i'm doing my first visual check of the farm making sure everybody's okay if you saw yesterday's video then you'll know that our new baby duck actually had some problems yesterday when we let her out so she's grounded they're all grounded today typically when you add like a new chicken you leave it with the other chickens for two weeks for them to get to know each other and feel comfortable and build confidence. Well, hello, baby girl. It is raining. She does not like me to pick at her eyes. That's always what I want to do. Are you inside because it's raining? I know. I know. I'm not very smart. Who's not very smart? Well, this too, because Lady was on this side all to herself, and these guys are here. <laughs> And the wind's coming this way. So. It's okay. They're not worried about the temperature. They're worried about <coughs> about the rain. Okay. Anyway, show me what you were doing. Sam and I both tried to get that off her eye. Okay, so what is the deal? So this thing didn't work when I fixed it last time. So this broke last winter. We have two other waterers, so we're not in dire need for it to be fixed. This one's <coughs> bigger than the other one. He so really I wants it to be fixed. So what happened? So I bought this other stuff to try. Last year he tried some some so stuff to th fix it. This time I bought this stuff. I don't know what it's supposed to be like a liquid rubber of some sort. I've seen liquid rubber that you paint Leak inside ponds. Proof. And I thought I was getting a big container, but this was twenty dollars. I know you have to read it. You have to read and but see. In, yeah. So anyways, twenty bucks. Supposed to, it's clear. It's supposed to be good for stopping leaks and stuff so hopefully it'll fill in the crack. So where'd you do it? I already did it on this side and the inside. See where it's all wet? Yeah. Do you have to do it on the outside too? The outside is not as big a deal but. So the stuff that I saw that was liquid rubber. So <coughs> after that dry they're gonna pour more in there. And the stuff that I saw was black but anyway it's good to have hopefully it works. Yeah. I like I love a man who's out working during the day even in the rain you guys it is champion weekend it is the weekend of champs for sophie's uh show series she lo we love our barn you guys like our barn is the kindest barn like they are so accommodating to everyone they're just so kind not just brandon but the whole barn like the owners and it's just amazing but anyways i'm so we're so excited to have this opportunity like the fact that they got together with three other barns two other barns and made this show series this championship like there's nothing like that in this area for schooling show level like I, i'm just so proud of them anyway it's the week before sophie's championship show and it's been raining every day luckily she has been practicing a lot lately we drove in this week and we're going to drive in again on thursday so that she gets an opportunity to ride in like a big arena that's flat i love her riding here though because lady's back end isn't as muscled as her front end because she was a cart horse so that's where she, all her power is coming from right now so she's working on her back end and we have a lot of hills and she rides over the hills so i like her riding here but it's almost that time to get back to the bar full time but sam and i still have colds and it only is bad if i talk if i'm just like hanging out and not talking it doesn't bother me do you guys remember when i told you that we buy these treats from like our feed store Oh man, they are wonderful. Yes, and you too, because you're so pushy. But I just wanted you to know that I love you. I love you too. I miss my posy being up, running around. So, it is dark in here. You should open the window, Sam. So I told you guys how we have all this stuff from our old house. This is all in our basement. This is kind of like our storage area. And I want to start going through this, getting rid of stuff and just getting rid of it. Like it's hardly any, there's not a lot of stuff out here and we never use it. So why are we keeping it? So I'm going to make some piles. I'm going to go through this and see if I can amalgamate some of these buckets and get rid of the stuff that we don't need. All right. So a lot of this stuff is Sam's. Sam's, Sam's, all this is Sam's, Sam's, some of that is Sam's, but 
Try number one, attempt number one to get rid of junk. I did a really good job. I cleared up all this area, a lot of this stuff. Actually, I didn't go through this bucket. Like there's so much junk that people keep and you don't even need to keep it. I love this though. Bracelets. And what? What, where'd you find that? Where'd you find that? Hanging over there. Where? On that shelf there? It was just hanging like right by these fans. So, you guys, we lost Chino's this is, uh, girth and we wanted to use it because the lady's a bit on the chunky side. Yeah, it's Chino's and we couldn't find it for the longest time. Wow, there that's a go. sign. That's a sign. Alright, leave it there. These are some of my favorite girths. The girls got them a couple years ago. This is a uh, 50, 54. 54. And uh, Sophie's <laughs> a 52, is a 52 and that was for Finn. Finn had a 52 and Chino had a 54. If you guys didn't remember, they're like <sighs> totally different shaped horses. Anyway, I like these because you can clean them and then this thing comes off, the top comes off and it's got this memory foam, which I don't know if it's any good, but it seems like it's good. But anyway, you found it. High five. Good job. So the reason I said that that's a sign is that this week, a year ago, Chino left us. And it took a really long time before I could even talk about it without crying. And I think I'm there now, but I debated. Should I, like, bring it up? Should I say goodbye to him again? Should I, like... Gabby's just going along with her life and not thinking about it, not worrying about it. And I kind of just want to let it go. I just kind of want to like let our hearts continue to heal because it's still so super raw. We didn't share with the world how sick Chino got in the end, but our close circle, they were all here for Chino. I told you guys back when Chino passed away, like how we were like ready to fight and do whatever we could and it was apparent to most people that it was time for him to go and, and we had to make a choice in the matter of a couple of days and then in those couple of days he went downhill so fast and there are like parts of that that I didn't share with you guys I'm thinking about sharing them with you I don't know if there's footage at the end of this video that you guys have never seen but there was like a moment where he couldn't walk and we had to take him outside so that he could be put to sleep outside and he didn't walk for two days so getting him to go outside was impossible Sam and I tried all day like we tried so hard all day to get him to walk we tried bribing him we tried everything and he couldn't walk and then Gabby came home from school and he walked for her it was just shocking like and in those like last minutes where he like walked for her I had like this spark of hope even though I knew that it, he was past his time and he was ready to go I had this spark like well wait he's walking I mean it was hard for him but he slowly made his way to where Gabby asked him to go and it gave me a spark of hope again but we knew in the end that we couldn't prolong his pain for our happiness so so anyways this is the year this is the week a year ago that Chino left and it was like a summer day that day I'll never forget the day it was so warm and now it's like freezing cold outside. I feel like finding his girth, like we looked for that girth for so long. How long did we look for that girth? At least two weeks. A couple weeks, I know. And where did you find it? Right here. It was literally right here and we couldn't find it and it's been there for a year. It's been there for a year. <coughs> Crazy. We also have some of his stuff up here. It's still dirty, his feed pan. Like we could easily use another feed pan but Gabby won't let us wash it. His, his bridles in there, his still, all his stuff is in it, like, all his smells, everything. But I take finding that girth after all this time as a sign that he's letting us know he's here. I believe he sent Lady to Sophie. I believe it with my whole heart. Because Chino had a place in his heart for any girl, <laughs> and for any girl that was behind the eight ball if that makes sense any girl that was like needed help he was loved any kind of girl that needed help so i believe that he sent her and i think finding this girth was his way of saying like you know it's been a year and to 
say it's okay to use this stuff now. But it's a totally different day, you guys, from the day that we said goodbye to Chino. I'm not gonna lie though, this is my favorite season of all. You guys know I've, I say it all the time. <laughs> and I think it's the dog's favorite season too. <laughs> oh, Ellie, you're vicious. So one of the things I was hoping to find was this little feeder for the chickens because I couldn't find the one that I use for the baby chickens. And I like this one because I can put any kind of mason jar on there, fill it up, and it can last a while. All right. Do I have a surprise for you guys? <coughs> I have like so many feeders in here. There we go. That's the one. They can take this one out too. There you go. <laughs> You're all set. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. All right, so literally couldn't get this horse to take one step for the whole entire day. Extra drugs and one Gabby is all it's taken at the door. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. But I can see past the rain Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and burn it Let's make a 